mentioned the balloons and uh -huh. the lollipops, and, and it, it just adds up. it adds up. But it is the happiest place on earth, and <laughs> uh, I love it. I I still love it and love seeing it through my kids' eyes. Right now, as we are taking a view from our Fort Lauderdale camera, Broward County, we are seeing a few clouds, and it's a little hazy out there for parts of Miami-Dade County. I'll explain why in a second. Key West camera right now, looking at some cloud coverage, but mainly dry. Thankfully, you don't need the windshield wipers or the umbrellas this morning. In fact, the rain chance remains low, and that is not helping in the battle against this brush fire that has been burning since yesterday in southwest Miami-Dade County near Homestead. This is off of 352nd Street and 177th Court. And so for those of you that have asthma or any kind of respiratory health issues, you're going to want to stay inside because we do have that wind flowing out of the southeast 8, 9 miles per hour that's carrying some of the smoke towards the populated areas. Checking on visibility, it's okay for now, but we could see some areas of haze and smoke throughout the day today. In fact, yesterday we even had a little bit of filtered sunshine going on, especially in Miami-Dade County. Now, temperatures are already in the upper 70s. Check it out. Miami 76, and our average high in the afternoon usually is around 77. So we are well above average. Could see some more record-breaking lows. 76 in Pompano Beach, 73 in Kendall. Low to mid-70s down through the Keys. However, cooler for our friends across North Florida. Low to mid-60s there. Low 70s in Central Florida. And then we've got the single digits and three below in Billings. So, of course, we'll take the 70s, right, when you see what's happening around the rest of the U.S. Central U.S. also dealing with the frigid air with the 30s through Texas, 29 in Memphis. However, 50s and 60s ahead of this front in Atlanta and D.C. Temperatures starting to plummet across the northeast. Also dealing with plenty of rain stretching from the panhandle through the Carolinas, up the Atlantic seaboard, through the northeast, and some snow on the northern side of this front, which is not going to get here because we have high pressure that is really going to block any of these fronts from really taking a dive and uh, sagging south across our state. And that means we're going to continue with this warm weather pattern as well as that breeze that's leading to the rough surf at the beach, meaning that high risk of rip currents, maybe just a few brief showers with that onshore flow. But unfortunately, the wildfire danger remains high. For today, 85 degrees. Keep in mind our average high is 77 this time of year. Could see some brief showers, a dangerous high risk of rip currents, the UV index very high at the beach. So if you're heading to the coast, keep that in mind. And for boaters, right now, no advisories. However, a moderate chop on the base for tonight, low 70s and mild and humid. We are going to continue with more of the same. A very warm Valentine's Day on Wednesday, 83, low 80s, even through the weekend. 